to Late Nights with All Access with myself, Mike Anthony. Right next to me, Miss Nat Boogie. Hey. Miss Nat Boogie. What's up, though? And then our special guest coming What's up? back, What's up? Mr. Hi. Soul Child Jordan. It was such, so much fun last time. <laughs> Thank you for coming back. We yes, appreciate, you. appreciate it, of course, man. Of course. Okay, so everyone, we have to let you know that we are giving away, a, uh, I was going to say $1,000 right now. <laughs> I'll take wow. it. We're giving away a hundred dollars. Put my name in there. We're giving away a hundred dollars Visa gift card sponsored by A Lounge. And if you haven't heard about A Lounge, it is the newest upscale lounge in the San Anto- in the uh, Stone Oak area, San Antonio, of course. And they sponsored the hundred dollar Visa card. So all you have to do is make sure to like, comment, and share this post as well as go ahead and go into their Facebook page and like and follow their page and you will be entered into the drawing. As you see, we have all the names right here so far and there's more names that are gonna be added onto the drawing. So, good luck everyone. So make sure to like, comment, and share this video as well. That's all they gotta and do. And yeah, that's all they have to do, just to be entered into I the drawing for $100. Yes, if you <laughs> want to, if, if you like the page, let me know, we're gonna go ahead and put it right there, you know? It's just easy like that. It's smart marketing because of the fact that you're able to get real people to follow your page and not anybody that doesn't have a real page or whatnot. Of course. It's all about so that. how was your weekend, everyone? Uh, lit. lit. What I remember. What'd you do? Um, fuck, what I did I do? I don't know. I was out. <laughs> we did have a shout out to Justin. We had him on the podcast, um, Minute Society podcast, last week talking about his uh, reopening his rebranding of On The Rock, so we went to On The Rocks, and it looks nice. Have it's you Friday. seen it yet? I haven't yet. It looks nice. I think that was Friday. Was it Friday? I think that was Friday. That was Friday, yes. Yeah, yeah it was Friday night. Um, so we went to go show him some love, so we are at On The Rocks. Every every time I've gone downtown, I'm like, I want to see the Christmas lights, like on the river walk and shit. You just shit. end up being On The Rocks. I just end up at fucking On The Rocks, <laughs> and I end up drinking, and we never make it to see the just lights. End up on the rocks. And we've been downtown like six times the last like month and a half, and I have yet, I, we've gone to Travis Park a couple times, but. Yeah. I mean, it's cute, but I want to see the lights like on the Riverwalk and at the Alamo and all this shit. Yeah. And I, we always get stuck drinking somewhere. I wanted so. to go ice skating and I still have not. Do you know how to ice skate? I mean, it's like riding a bike, right? I wouldn't know. I've done it once and I was a child. I did it once and I'll tell you one thing, it is not like rollerblading. No, it's not. It, it is the most... It's the worst because like when everyone's <laughs> skating, you're like running over, like it's bumpy because you're running over their shit and like it's not smoothed down. But I'm the type of person that's like, I could do it, I could do it, I could do it. <laughs> but uh, I if haven't you go, been, let me know, I'm going to go with you so I can watch you fall. I haven't been ice skating, I think the, the last time I went was 12 or 13, 13 years old. I think yeah. you about the same. And it, was, uh, it wasn't as hard as you think it is. I think it's all balancing. You have to balance yourself. Yeah. yeah so, I you know, it's a lot of myself. balance. I start thinking, I'll watch, and I'll try to get the science of it, and I'm like, you know what? I could do it. I could do it. And I put the skates on, <laughs> and watch me do, like, a backflip. Yeah. flip. I feel like the older I get, the worse I get. I like my coordination and everything. So. Imagine doing that drinking, though. <laughs> exactly. I'd probably be drunk. You know? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do that. But, um, yeah, so we just hopped around, showed some love. Um, Shout out to Justin, because I yeah, did see him this to weekend, Justin. too, as well. So I was actually at On The Rocks Friday and Saturday. We hit Trophy Room. Um, I've been downtown a lot lately. That's so. a good thing, because downtown's growing. It is. It really uh, is. I used to not, like, really fuck with downtown, like, going out downtown. Yeah. I hated driving here and then just the cops. And, like, I used to not really fuck with it. And then lately, I just, we've been down here a lot. It's been a good time, so... I guess we're, we're doing a little something, something right. <laughs> yes, we are. And shout out to Adrian Martinez for sponsoring our show. Uh, we're here inside of Frego Martina Bar, as well as Smoke Barbecue and Ash at Sunset or yeah Sunset Station. And shout out to Ash, man. They're having yeah. their Christmas party downstairs. Uh-huh. And they sell, like, I, I don't know if y'all can hear them, but we can hear them right now. Hear, they sound literally. like they're lit. It's we, bumping. We went down there. Shout out to Ammunition. He's DJ. Ammunition, so to DJ. Say hi. And um, if you haven't seen Ash, they newly remodeled um, as well. And it looks really dope as well. So make sure you make your way down to Ash if you can sometime. I know they're going to do even more renovations for New Year's Eve that's coming up. Yes. He, he kind of gave us a, a little sneak peek on what that was going to look like. And that's exciting, too. So if you oh, haven't yeah. been down here, make sure to come down here. And they have food down there. And it smells amazing. So yeah, I saw it. We might have to crash. When we went down there, I was like, okay, so should we go to the food? We have like five minutes till we go. Like, should we go to the food or the other bar? <laughs> it smelled so good. But um, that might be the move after the show. Saturday, you didn't do. What did you do Saturday? I was literally on the rocks. Oh, on the on rocks. the rocks, like hit, hit PKs, watched the Spurs lose. 
and then went to trophy room and then went back to on the rocks what did you do on sunday we chilled at home actually we were so we were gonna have like the pajama podcast party but you see what had happened was i ordered a bunch of chili my homegirl at work she's an amazing cook and she was like, you know, football season, if you want, you know, you, you can um, order chili from me and I'll, I'll deliver it to you. It's like $35, Ooh. five pounds of chili and like five two pounds things of, chili? What do of cheddar. Of chili? What? Well, I'm fucking eating it. It's not just me. Five pounds. <laughs> but when we got two things of jalapeno cheddar cornbread, yo, we went in. Uh, and then we got and then we went and got tamales. Mm, tamales. So we got tamales, chili, and tamales cornbread. Season. Yes, oh, tamales season. Tamales season. We went in. And then we just got lazy. And we were like, man, we don't want to do the podcast right now. Because the thing was, we usually record on Tuesdays. But it's Christmas Eve, and a lot of people are with their families. So we were like, oh, we'll knock it out, you know, Sunday. But then I was like... But we gotta talk about Christmas and shit. Like we're not gonna yeah. have anything to really talk about. Like we can't pretend like we already went through our Christmas and everything happened. So we're gonna actually record Christmas night. Um, we're gonna have a little get together at the crib and record Christmas night. So it's That'd ready for dope. it's ready That'd for Thursday. Dope. It's pretty much everybody. Because yeah, everybody's done with their Christmas family. Eve. Yeah, exactly. So shout out to Midnight Society. You guys keep on doing what you're doing on your podcast, uh, you. especially with uh, Josh. Uh, amazing talent right there. Able to. Uh, uh, push the uh, podcast a little stronger uh, based on what he does for a living. Yeah, know? he does all the graphics so, for those that you have that I saw that. The graphics. I was about to hit him up because yeah. he does the motion graphics and everything. Yeah, he does the snippets. All of that shit is Josh Rush. Shout and out And we've Josh been Rush. talking about doing a collaboration, so you may see that in 2020. Mm. Late Nights with Midnight Society. I think, well, how did Steven uh, say it? Steven, our producer, what did you say? You said Late Nights with Midnight Society. Late Nights with Midnight Society. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I'm with it. Yeah, yeah we'll um, pass it on the bag and throw it in the yeah. fire. Nah, but, and then we got drunk. There's, so there's this game that we we got introduced to recently at fourth quarter. <laughs> Our friend was bartending. She introduced us to this game. It's called left, center, right, or something like that. And it's just some dice that you roll, and either it has an L on it for left, a C on it for center, R on it for right, or it has like a dot on it or a star. Like you keep it. So basically, we were playing with money when we first learned. Last night we played with chips because we made it a drinking game. But you roll the dice, and, if, and either you have to pass it to the person to the left of you, the person to the right of you, put it in the center, or you get to keep it. Mm -hmm. And so the person, the last person with, like, last night we played it with chips, but the last person with either the money standing or the chips, last, it was, we got drunk. We'll just say we got fucked up last night. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> like a game I would lose. I mean. It was a fun drinking game. A fun that drinking game. Like drink we went drink. through almost a whole bottle of JMO, so. Um, you know, Christmas, Christmas, uh, so usually some people uh, celebrate Christmas Eve more than Christmas Day. Or what? What's, what's y'all's take? Like, what, what, what about the viewers? Eve. Are you Christmas Eve yeah. or Christmas Day? Well, I've seen that. Is correct me if I'm wrong. I've heard or been seeing this is more of a Hispanic, like a big Hispanic thing that they do more yeah. like Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. I would, I would say that. I would, I would. Yeah, we do it. We because I, I my it's family yeah. the night before. And yeah. but what, how Christmas it used Eve. to be is you would do everything at night, and you Wait would get midnight, to open yeah. one present yeah. at midnight, and then you would either pick. You know whichever present you want, and then you know that was because that was Christmas Eve. You have the dinner and all that. The next day, you open up whatever, and you in the morning you just chill the whole day, yeah. eating all the leftovers. See, Watch I've it. never really done that. I've always been like Christmas Watching morning. Watching the Goonies on TV and, and stuff it. and everything like that. Oh, I need to watch <laughs> a Christmas story. <laughs> Okay. I need to watch a Christmas story. I feel like that's tradition for not. me. Every you, you're, you've never seen a Christmas story. The Christmas story, really? No. Um, what? See my Christmas. What's your what's your what's your Dude. Christmas movie? That you like my Christmas movie is like Home Alone. Home Alone, <laughs> one and two, and then I I dig three a little bit. You know what I mean? But I mean the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. That was. San yeah, I like the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. That's good. My little kid movie. I was a weird kid. Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, I'm I mean the too. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yep. I watched I was, that one too. Uh, yeah. I would, but I was never into like the Charlie Brown or the. No, no, no. no I wasn't really a big fan of Charlie Brown either. No. Nah. But yeah, I'm excited. Anybody like Charlie Brown? What, what are your What's your favorite uh, Christmas movie? My My was. Uh, um, I would say yeah. Um, actually, you know what? The, the Christmas Story is really good. Or a Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. That was a good one. Oh, Matilda. Uh, that's a Christmas story? I mean, a Christmas movie? No, well, Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah. Matilda, yeah, Matilda. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she's in it. That's true. Um, uh, Val, uh, thanks for noticing the ugly sweater. Oh, yeah, Elf. So, Elf got is the, a Bro, I don't know if you can show him the back. Ugly <laughs> sweater. Maybe I can show Dude, you the back. Dude, this sweater is fucking hilarious. <laughs> so the back part. Shout out to all Josiah. Right there. But they, can I see it? Bro, you got to be careful where I you wear that. Tell, yeah, <laughs> there's a flask and a butt crack. 
put that a quarter. That shit is hilarious, in, though. I, a, I do want one of those. That shit. Yeah. You play a quarter. I mean, like the girl be, version. I want the girl the version. The girl version. Of that. The tattoos and everything. I'll leave sweater. The, the butt crack. Uh, thing shout out to uh, also for our, our uh, for the viewers that were watching since the beginning, and you were able to see the two minute countdown. You were listening to Miss Angel Centron with her new Christmas song. So shout out to her as well uh, if you were able to hear that. If not, just. Go right back to the beginning. Sick girl. So you have, let's see, Stephanie says Elf, the original Grinch. Um, Grinch, Channel. that's a good movie too as well. The original Grinch, so, okay. So the cartoon uh, one, right? Going on, Adrian. So the cartoon one? Shout out to Adrian again once yeah. more. <laughs> Bad Santa. What else is um, Daniel said Home Alone, Santa Claus, and Elf Home Alone. is a must. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to watch the Home Alone in my life. Too. Other than that, it doesn't even have Christmas to be Day. Christmas movies. I mean, it's it's all about, I mean, the next day I think they play like Indiana Jones and the Goonies and like what else, some some old school just movies that like. So what is the tradition that you do for Christmas? I don't got no mm. tradition, shit. Any tradition <laughs> well, that, 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 okay. that you, like, I mean, you do, like, like say, for example, maybe a new tradition or maybe something that you recently did, done. Like, so my mom passed away four years right. ago. So one of my tradition is try to spend more time with my grandmother, right. like take her to the movies, something that for her and I to do together. So Honestly, that's I it's just like she said. I mean, I really feel like these days we, people don't get together like they do. Mm. And I, that's, I think we're at getting to the age to where it's like, we're starting to realize, all right, it's probably our job now to get everybody together right. and start the new tradition and, you know, make it happen. and. This is where, like, damn, I should have paid more attention to my grandma the way she, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's like, you know what I mean? It's either the people in our generation, it's now it's your time to, to make the new traditions and get yeah. everybody together. I don't really, like, I've never really had, like, a family, like, a big family. It's always just been my gremlins, mom and I. And gremlins. And she, the, yeah, for sure. Gremlins. And then there's National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Gremlins is the <laughs> um, but Rudolph the Red Nose Rudolph the Red Nose Rudolph. 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 The kid one? The cartoon one? The clay one? The clay one? Did y'all see one. the highway? Oh, okay. Did y'all see the highway? Oh, Frosty the Okay, Snowman. okay, okay. Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman. Happy birthday. Did you see the highway sign? Which one? It said Rudolph should be the only one driving right. the Rudolph Rudolph the the one driving Wow. Yes, wow. yes I did see it. <laughs> yeah. I want to know who makes those. Because they had a baby Yoda one the other day. And then I was on the way here. And it said Rudolph should be the only one driving lit. And I was like, who the fuck makes this shit? So our producer said Rudolph the cartoon one and Frosty the Snowman as a segment yeah that one's that's that old like school child, that's like in know? school to that like they wanted the whole class to sit Happy down and watch birthday. it there you go <laughs> I just remember yeah they were all mean to Rudolph I remember that what about Christmas songs well what's your favorite Christmas I think song I'm over Christmas music are you really yeah I like there was Christmas actually a, apparently a Gucci Men Christmas song we were listening to oh, really? oh that same Briggs intro <laughs> that one was kind of cool I played that at, I played that for my job. That one was kind of cool. But other than that, Joshua was trying to play all this Christmas music last night and we were just not. What up, DJ it. Zesk? What up? But yeah, Ooh. my tradition, like Daniel said, I'm going to, I'm trying to be with my friends and probably drink. That's all I want to do. Because my friends are like my family to me. So like my mom works um, and she works from home, but she works all the holidays to get paid. So I always go to her house. We cook, eat, and then I just go hang out with the friends. So that's what Jack, I'm going to be yeah, It's like different Jack every Frost. year. Yeah. Okay. It's different every year. Babes in Toilet. Babes in Toilet. Babes in toilet. In How old were you when the you watched this? Nutcracker. Hey. Well, I, I watched older movies when I was growing up. Older movies when you were growing up. Okay. <laughs> I dig that. I think if you're in, like, like a 90s, 80s, 80s baby. Oh, like, that? Thank love you, the... Val. I'm over Christmas music, too. Thank you. <laughs> Why? I love it Christmas It has to be movie, the right man. person. I, yeah. The other day, I shared a video of this girl. She was singing Oh, Holy Night, like on the second version. Holy and, Night. I like that bro, song. Bro, and really like, song. I was like captive. I was, I le probably swiped it back and listened to it like a thousand times and that's what I like but like the annoying like Christmas music yeah I'm the kinda, annoying I'm kinda shit over. that you hear in the mall the day after Thanksgiving yeah I don't want to hear it anymore I think part of it is because I used to work yeah, in the mall I, I so can't, I can't get, do with like, the uh, just, uh, Mariah Carey song all I want for Christmas I just, yeah I just think I of the debacle one. and then I was over I'm done and over with that one <laughs> What did you do this weekend you didn't even tell us uh, Friday night we did a first look of a lounge so it's in the stone oak area so we did a little first look not soft opening just a first look so that friends and people can come in and take a look at the new club in the stone I oak saw area some of your pictures so yeah, cool. awesome. uh, appreciate everyone that did stop by you know it, again it wasn't trying to book the vips it was just really yeah, yeah, yeah. come getting a first look like a sneak peek 
uh, into it. This coming up Friday, more people are now coming into where they're going to be booking their reservations, and then the grand opening is going to be January 3rd. So that w that's what I did on Friday. And then Saturday, uh, went to a family's uh, uh, ugly sweater party, and then went to Hotel Discotheque. And then Sunday, we watched the new Jumanji movie. How was that? So it was really funny, yeah. you know? Real funny. Danny DeVito and Danny Glover are really funny guys, in my opinion. Um, I think the movie is just all around fun. So I can see I can do that. that going into, I mean, it's the same concept, not to like spoil it for anybody. Uh, of course, you should know like, you should, you should, if you watch the first one, you should understand how it's gonna play out for the second one and if they make a third and fourth one. I haven't even seen but the first one. I think the, the reason it does so well to where it may not be like the Grammys like oh my gosh like type of movie but it does so well in the box office is because The Rock and Kevin Hart Them two together are, are a powerful duo yeah. like they know how to feed off each other during interviews the promotions like they went to go to and the only reason why I know this because I follow them on Instagram and they went to the uh, to surprise the theater and they bought just gifts for everybody popcorn all that oh, like dope. they're going out of their way to do certain things small little things like that that's dope and it's just amazing like i think they're just a powerful duo when it comes to business and they don't look at it as hey i'm above and why not you know they're doing it for the fans and that's the fans are the ones that are going to pay to watch and that's how they get paid so it's just I, cool I, to I, see it, kevin hart out like up and like moving yes. around and like back <laughs> out again after that whole accident yeah. that happened because i mean that was that's, bad from uh, yeah. what it sounded like so mm -hmm. to be able to see him get back to he did like a recovery video and yeah. he was like he had to yeah. learn to walk again and yeah. everything it's like all kinds of shit but, but to me personally my i just wish that they would if they're gonna do a remake of jumanji i really wish it would have made a video game i mean st I, I mean it would have been dope to see the old school board game and the you know the animals oh, they coming made it out. A video game? Yeah, they yeah. I haven't, yeah. Seen, I haven't yeah. seen the new one at all. You I was, seen the first one? No, I haven't. That's why I was like, I'm big on the original. So they took Jumanji. the board game, like, made into a video game. They get sucked in. Shout out to Aww. Brandon this Christmas. Yes, that uh, Chris Brown song. Be steady. I like that one. I like that one. But yes, it's not the uh, the. It's not a remake. A remake of the original. It's like a new edition of Jumanji, like today's era. Yeah. So, and, and, and you know what? I get that too, but you know, maybe in a sense to where Robert, Robin Williams did a, such a, an amazing job, maybe they don't, yeah. they don't want to be, so, I mean, someone would have to be filling in those shoes. Yeah. yeah. You just like can. you had to fill in. Just like Aladdin. Just, I mean, you can't replace Robin Williams. You can't. No, you can't. Yeah. And Will Smith did a good job when he did the uh, uh, Aladdin. I he think did. so. He did. I think he did it for, he did. for him. He did a great job. I walked out of there and you said, know? you know what? He, did do good. he didn't do bad at all. Uh, it's hard to remake movies. Like they're talking about, and I said this before, they're talking about remaking Scarface, Al Pacino. With uh, so there's a movie they just did Leonardo not remake. Di Di uh, Di Car uh, DiCaprio, I think, is supposed to do it. Hmm. It'd be interesting. Really, it would be interesting to see Leo. You that know, would as Tony Montana <laughs> or something like that. I don't know how that would work, or I mean, maybe today's era, or they twisted or whatnot. But I remember reading that Netflix mm. has a, a movie out, The Irishman. Have I've been that? hearing about I it. Haven't I haven't seen, seen it. it. I heard it's like three hours long, though. You know what? I did just finish watching Don't Fuck Let With Cats. Let me guess. I was about to say. Don't, don't Fuck With Cats. Is that Let me guess. Cats. Yes. So you does it have to it? do no. with cats? Or? It does. It starts off with... Well, don't, say, don't tell me everything. It does have to do with cats. Basically, it's about stalking or hunting in a serial killer, like an internet killer. He's posting videos, and he's doing all this crazy, stupid, fucked up shit. And it's just kind of showing how someone can, you know evolve into like a serial killer and it's it's i'm not gonna give it all away is but it you like have to make to a murder uh no we saw oh, he's uh, already we saw, made it he's just we saw a shot collar shot, shot collar i think that's what it's called have you seen that one is that new i think yeah it's I on netflix shot collar or a, what is it called damn it shot I don't collar know. i think there's an if someone's watching correct me if i'm wrong because i i know it's on netflix shot collar or it's about prison it's a really good movie it's just in Netflix. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, I know what you're talking about. The guy gets out of prison and he's like calling shots in the street and shit. Yeah, and he goes back to prison to, yeah. I started watching it one time and then that was about it. 
Um, anyone else, if y'all have any suggestions for Netflix, please let me know because I'm looking for something else. Yeah. But if you haven't seen Don't Fuck With Cats, watch that shit. It is I'm watch it. Don't it's fucking fuck crazy. With cats. It's a mini series, so it's only three episodes, but like it's fucking crazy. And so there was a meme that was posted earlier, and it was like, if I ever go missing, please call this person and this person instead of the police like to find me or something like that if you watch it you'll understand the meme and then you go back to my facebook page look at it and be like oh yeah same um but yeah i know it's crazy it's like a, a dope documentary and shit so make sure to check that out i see i just been netflix has been like hit or miss lately i, I saw raising dion that was dope um that michael b jordan series i saw um, michael that, b. Jordan's that, in that? That, yeah michael no right. he made a series called um uh, Raising Dion, it's about a girl who has like a six-year-old son. Michael B. Jordan has already passed away by the time the movie, the show starts, begins. Mm. It's about a, a young widower raising her son, but he has superpowers. Don't know where he got it, but he's trying to hide it. Well, there's this girl, her name is, uh, it's, it's like a funny little name of the R, but she's in a wheelchair. Right, and, and and she was like, he doesn't know he's my best friend yet, but he is, and <laughs> you know, whatever. Turns out the girl's from San Antonio. Oh what? what? Yeah, uh, she. Uh, I guess I don't know how she got approached or what, but uh, if you watch it, she's the girl in the wheelchair with the glasses, and she's Dion's best friend, and she, uh, you know, whatever, you know, eventually she, she's like this is a little sidekick, you know what I mean? And, and I, I saw an article of K set that they had shared about the girl, and I was like, no way! Oh, that's dope. I'm gonna have to watch. It. I she's like pass definitely it. That's from San Antonio. One yeah. of the ones I kind of like pass by when I'm scrolling. So there's also another one called um, I think it's called Dirty John. Dirty John, that yeah, one's that one's good. yeah, that was that, that one's with the good. Eric Bana, and I, that was good. I've been Dirty sitting. John or Dear John? No, Dirty, Dirty John. John. Oh, Dear John is crazy. Dear Nick. John is uh. Who said Dear John? Dear John. Nick, Nick James. Nick, uh, that that's with the. No, I think that's Dirty John he's talking about. Dear John is a love movie. Is, Dear John is the is the romantic love mu- mu- movie, but Dirty John is in Netflix a series. Yeah. And okay, I, I think you're talking about Dirty crazy, John. You know, yeah, it's really crazy. Up. So, yeah. His Dear John would be with, uh, what's his name? Which one? The Channing one Tatum? Him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, I love Dear, Channing Tatum. Dear Channing Tatum. That, that one's Dear John. But Dirty wow. John on Netflix is is the one with Eric Bana, and he's a liar. Like, psychopath. It's crazy. Like, crazy liar. Pill popping. Drugs. Like, or gets, black. gets all these different women and sleeps with them. and Don't tell them everything. No, I'm not telling you everything. I'm just telling you the highlights of it. Like, at first, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to watch it. It's stupid. But then. No, it was good. I, yeah. I finished so Bianca, that shit quick. Black Mirror was pretty dope. But that's, that's kind of old, I guess. Yeah, that is old. I just really got into it. Sorry, guys. You're super late. <laughs> um, we need to talk about your weekend. Because I know you had a whole oh, yeah. Yeah. huge your event weekend? that happened last night. Sin and I want to hear all about. Yeah, we that happened this weekend. Um, what did you do Friday to start off? Friday, I DJed, of course. Um, Sugar's uh, 11 to 7. And, it, and it, that itself is crazy. I always say if I go out on a Friday, it's literally like going out twice on the same day because it's just insane. Mm. There's quite a lot of people from out of town. There's a lot of people... Um, a lot of people from out of town in the city this weekend. Um, Saturday, I went out just to promote and stuff because I knew I had the Cine Awards the next day. And yeah, I went to the Cine Awards, perfect score. Shout out to everybody who came out. There was a lot of a lot of industry people there. They also had um, drink contests in between. They had michelada and margarita. So we had that. And then what they did, uh, it was Eddie Munoz. Shout out to Eddie. Shout out to um, Eddie Damien. He is fucking... He's made me Bloody Marys, and those were the best Bloody Marys. I went, he used to work at, the one that used to work at Leaky, right? Yeah. Eddie, yeah, he used to make me Bloody Marys, and they're the best Bloody Marys I've ever had in my fucking life. Yeah, so and then we had one bartender from Sugars. Um, it was dope. So then every time they would make the drink, um, they would auction it off. This uh, Eddie, I think, for his Michelada, I think he got like 100 bucks. For real? Yeah, and so here I am, you know, auctioning off the drink, and I'm just like, what the fuck? That's hundred dollars ain't shit, and like I was getting them their money, you know what I mean? So, auction off the drink, and then of course the awards. But I mean, to say it went smoothly, I mean, would be, you know, kind of what happened? exaggerated. What I mean, happened? we started we late. We okay, okay, yo, we started late. We were supposed to start at ten. 
We didn't start till like 11.30. Oh, shit. And I kept telling her, I'm like, bro, if we don't start, everybody's going to be drunk. Because there was just bottles coming out. We're in perfect <laughs> score. Okay, up. there's bottles coming out. You know, everybody's in the industry. So it's like Diamonds was there. Rick's was there. Ecstasy was there. Um, of course, Sugars. Um, you had the people in the nightlife. You had um, Tone, uh, DJ Tone was DJing. Um, a lot of people from the industry were out there. And then so, of course, what do we do? We're taking shots. You know what I mean, I'm trying to like slow my pace because I even tell them, bro, if we don't start soon, I'm going to be drunk. <laughs> so, uh, you know, <laughs> ended up starting, um, did the contest in between. And then about one o'clock, I think people got a little antsy and they kind of started to dip. Um, so it kind of slowed down. And then there was a couple, you know, I'm not going to lie, San Antonio. I mean, this year and last year the sin awards for some reason literally destroys friendships and relationships and lives like you were just really? people, people who didn't really who people who didn't win you know but i mean t t in their defense we had all been drinking you know so of course it you know it kind of escalated so there was a couple people who were disappointed and you know acting out you know for real? throwing okay. tantrums and you know whatever so by that time <laughs> thank god that uh dj uh, big rick was there he's uh, uh one of the residents at um perfect and he talks on the mic too so once he was there and he was you know he kind of handled it i was like i i kind of just was like you got it you know what i mean yeah. so um, yeah, we had a lot of winners, gave away best everything pretty so, much. So, like, who, okay, so shout out to uh, Perfect Score for putting it together. Um, I Jacob. said this last time, I think when you were on the show, uh, I said something about, like, at first I didn't really, like, give it, like, I wasn't, like, all for it. Mm -hmm. I was, like, I didn't know what was it, what it all entailed, you know? So, right. I kind of was not saying... Like, I wasn't talking bad about it, but I wasn't, like, right. promoting it. Like, oh, yeah, it's right. good, whatever. So, and I'm always real. I always keep it 100 with everyone. Yeah, but yeah, after, yeah. like, little learning a little bit more about it, I was like, you know what? That's pretty cool that they're putting, they're trying to do something yeah. to put San Antonio together. And, you know, just like WP did back in the day when he had his uh, SA Nightlife Awards. And, you know, I think it's great. It gives people an opportunity to I just won this feel, feel like, yeah, it feels, it feels uh, <laughs> it's good to, to be accomplished, you know? No, because I, I mean, I didn't. I didn't win this year. I mean, yeah. This just goes to show it. It, it, it doesn't but matter. It, you know what? I think I, I do. I do think this, and I and I hope you're all watching. I think when you do a category as best promoter or best promotional team or best nightclub or best DJ, you should look into sales. For sure. Because you can be the best promoter based on the uh, uh, fans. I guess you want to say, like yeah. uh, favorite popular. But it really bases on sales for to sure. me. So I think that's, yeah, that's a that's huge like, thing because because if you want to look at it technical, yeah, technical, yeah, like, for like sure. who's making who's who who's making the most, the most money, money? Yeah, like, as a promoter. Numbers. I mean, if you want to say, I mean, at Sugar's our, our Christmas party, my birthday party, we did twenty four thousand oh, in yeah, that I one bet. night. I don't doubt it. I was there. See, so that and that's what I'm saying. Like like when it comes because promoters they get. It goes based on a few different things. It goes based on either they get paid a straight flat rate, or do they get the door, or they get the VIP services, or do they get the total yeah. uh, total uh, alcohol sales? You know, so there's four different things well, that you gotta look at. They did specify. So it's a, instead of saying best, they said it's favorite. So favorite. Yeah, okay. all the awards are favorite. Oh, so okay. that's what I go. I mean, because if you want to get technical, I've been booked consistently, um, pretty much every single weekend of this entire year so i mean when you want to go favor i mean you know what i mean it all, it all just depends it's all fun i mean yeah i didn't take it or whatever it all depends on how many votes you get i did get um favorite uh gentleman's club dj in the city oh, oh nice did win so that. who were some of the winners i saw toy won something so shout out to toy mystic. yes i saw uh saw dj i saw richie rich win something too as well uh mystic i saw him win something yeah versatile hip-hop okay um and i'm trying to remember it's a little fuzzy because people were hitting me up they're like did i win did i win and i'm like you should have came but um, <laughs> i really don't remember man you I, know what i'm gonna ask you i don't think we asked you this on, on the show last time who are your top five djs I'm gonna put you on the spot right now. Who are your top DJs? <laughs> five DJs uh, in San Antonio. Your top five DJs. Everyone's had a go. Everyone through it. has to go people, through it. Someone's yep. gonna be mad at you. Yep. 
We all uh, done I mean, it. I don't care. I'm so before we go to the break, <laughs> because remember, people, y'all watching, and we have a hundred dollars that we'll be giving away. Uh, it's a Visa <laughs> gift card, and he's thinking about his top five. So I'm giving you some time to think about this. Uh, <laughs> sponsored by A Lounge, this is the newest upscale lounge in the Stone Oak area. So again, if you want to enter right now, all you have to do is just comment and share this video. Say you're done by sharing this video onto your Facebook for your friends and family to see. And make sure to follow us on Late Nights with All Access so that we can enter you into the drawing. Again, also, if you want to get your name entered three times, when you comment below, tag three people into the comment section. Again, A Lounge and Donna Doffel's Bar and Grill is the sponsor for the $100 gift card giveaway. So that should have given you some enough time. Who are your top five DJs in San Antonio? Oh, we're not. No, oh, I thought, we're, back oh, oh, I thought, I thought we were going to the yeah, break. I was okay. like, oh, okay. I'm like, oh, okay. Fuck. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. Again, continue to watch. You have to be on the show to in order to win this $100 Visa gift card. Hi. Stay tuned. Oh my gosh, that uh, Alamo stuff. Biscuit. That yes, quick. the Alamo Biscuit. Alamo Biscuit, Alamo Biscuit, Alamo Biscuit. I love brunch. You a brunch? I you like favorite? brunch. You a brunch? Love brunch. Is this, brunch? so does Saritas do a brunch buffet too or something? Is Saritas that that does a brunch Fuck buffet, life, dude. I you know? I want all, all of it. Every time I think of Saritas, I always think of uh, the barbacoa. I love the barbacoa. That's really good. And then uh, it makes me think about the festival too as well. It's happening in May. For the French festival? No, no. Or the barbecue and the, the, festival? The uh, barbecue and okay. Yep. Bit. So Did now you, uh... you, your top five, your top five, Jordan, who is it? Who are they? Mm. I have worked with almost every single DJ in the city, I will tell you that. And they all are all dope in their own way. Um, but to me, uh, when I think of the top DJs, I think of someone who is versatile who can put on a show, who has the charisma, who is a DJ who can carry themselves in a night and a club by themselves without an MC, without, you know, whoever. So, and not any specific order. Let's do it like that. Uh, well, some of my top five DJs is definitely um, DJ Hypnotic, my boy John. He's a- uh, Okay, I Hypnotic. Mean, bro, I mean, he's, I, we've been working together since we used to do two and no Capones. We used to do Sunday nights and we used oh, to shit. sell it out. <laughs> and this dude, I mean, he big old record just, I mean, yeah. So he's probably the most versatile from EDM to hip hop to everything like that. And then also staying on that same level, my boy Jace Ace, DJ Ace from Perfect Ten, where he was also with us at Capones. And, I think he's been DJing since he was like eight or nine. Really? His dad's like a rock singer, dope ass dude. And, and again, I mean, just the tables just rules in. And also versatile. I had him come do my mom's birthday. Um, and I said, bro, I don't know if you could do this, but I need nothing but 70s and country, all right? And he's like, I think he just 
Ace is like what, 22 or 21 or whatever. And he had it, it went perfect. And he killed it? Yeah, killed that's it. Dope. Like, you know what I mean? So um, that's two. Uh, Mystic is definitely top. I mean, when it comes to hip hop, I've been listening to him and I'm like, I heard this song before. Mm-hmm. You know, and I thought, I mm-hmm. usually think I have, it, I have it all. So Mystic definitely puts me on these dopes. Mm-hmm. Top, uh, that's three. Um, wow. Four, five, four, five. My boy C one. C one is definitely Shout out to on C1. my list. C one, I love C one. C one is definitely on my list, man. That that it's my boy. He's definitely talented again. You know, with the with the scratching and, and going along and, and and the versatility. You know, you can see him at Burnhouse. And let's see. Hmm. What should I say is my last one? Uh. I don't know. Who, I don't know. Who who Just are your favorite? Who are your top five? You didn't watch the show, so. <laughs> Man. Um, let's, can I say, I'm not even, you know what, I'm not even going to start this. I'm going to say me. There you go. Yeah, me. We'll just do it like that because I just, man, I have so many, I have so much respect for so many dealers and I really That's feel. That's your top five, man. Your top five is your top five. I so. really feel if I, I, if I have this sort of event, I know who to call. If I have that sort of event, I know who to call. You know, everybody is dope. But I mean, there's just ones that definitely, I mean, wow, I watch them, I'm like, mm. you know, so there you yeah, go. I get it. We know way too many C, DJs. C, C1 was in, in my top five. He was yeah. in mine too. Yeah. I um, believe. I had uh, Donnie D Donnie and uh, Double one. R. Uh, those two will always be on my top. There's a lot coming A-OK out. Okay, was in A okay, man. A okay, was in my A okay, bro. I've done a lot because <laughs> when you start thinking about DJs yeah. and people start naming them, like wow, you know. So A okay, A okay, A okay, A okay, I think is what he changed it to, right? A okay, Kerbin. I'm just playing. A okay, Kerbin. It's all good. That guy. But anyways, everyone everyone that's watching, we appreciate James. you tuning in. I've been putting your names into the drawing. Again, there's a $100 Visa gift card uh, that we'll be giving away. Also, reminder, uh, in two weeks from today, we are doing our one-year anniversary. It's going to be held inside of Breathe Lounge. Again, it is our one-year anniversary of Late Nights with All Access. And we are inviting every single special guest that's been on our show from 2019 to be there to celebrate and we have a new special guest on our show which is going to be uh danette with epic uh, epic vascular uh which sponsored our one of our shows and she's going to be our special guest for that um episode for that one year anniversary yep. so we do appreciate all the viewers and we hope that you all make sure to uh come and support us is uh, there's more details that is going to be shared if you look at the facebook page of late nights with all access you can actually find the event and you can see all the details uh we would love for you to be there because it's going to be a two-hour live audience broadcasting and we also have direct uh, motion technologies uh, that's going to be helping us with the production side of things and we have a few sponsors that we need to just go ahead and finalize that we can go ahead and share their information as well and if you want to be a vendor to the event uh, you can do that too as well and a vendor you'll be able to set up your table and promote your products and services and whatnot and network in a way so it's going to be a really good event i think it's going to turn out very well it's going to be our one year so that's a big 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 uh, accomplishment for us to be consistently doing these shows and it's amazing also, uh, in that book, if you want to share what we're going to be doing, what kind of contest we're going to be doing. <laughs> this you make huge, me do this, it. This okay. is a huge announcement, people. This is huge announcements, okay? So go ahead, Miss Nat Boogie. All right, guys. Well, as y'all can tell, we have one person that has been missing for a while now. So we are actually looking for another co-host. We are going to be Ooh. doing a contest. Um, so basically like a co-host search contest we are going to go over the details we'll we'll, um you know let y'all know once we kind of get all everything laid out planned out and stuff like that um but we do want y'all to start thinking you know especially people that have been watching since the beginning of course we do appreciate you know y'all tuning in you know this entire year it's literally about to be a year it's fucking crazy um but we want you we want y'all's opinions as well we want y'all to be able to interact and we want to know what y'all think and you know how if y'all can vibe with these co-hosts and stuff like that as well so we are going to do a contest get some people to um be a guest with us and kind of try them out and we want y'all to fill them out as well and um yeah just be on the lookout for that when you know when we start promoting it because it's uh i think it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun it's I'm not excited. it's not just one it's two it, so, it's, so it's one male <clears throat> co-host and another 
female co-host. Yeah, I need a female. What kind so, of contest? Like, what do so you... it's it's gonna just be basically. For example, you this is your second time coming, and okay. if people think that you are really great at being our co-host, then you'll be nominated, and we'll see from the fans and the viewers. Hey, should Soul Child Jordan be our co-host? You know, and we will have another opportunity for a female to be on the show. Ooh. You have to think about it this way is that and is, this is what I want you all to understand that this talk show uh, and I, I've been telling this to people is that you think about daytime you think about Fox you think about Ken's you think about um, KSAT they all have morning shows local morning talk shows mm-hmm. at nighttime they can't do it because that's prime right so that's all for late nights talk shows with prime people right well we're doing something for the very first time in the local community of San Antonio that hasn't been done. And so you have to look at it this way. If you have the personality the um, and, and you want to go ahead and be part of our team, then you're actually building your personal brand and you're building something for San Antonio to come together. So it is not just you know kicks and giggles because we are getting sponsorships. There is a long-term vision with this. And I think it's a great opportunity because Nat Boogie, myself, and Steven have done an incredible job. And Mel Finest did an incredible job, too, with us and being part of the team. And he's going to be there for the one-year anniversary, but he is taking a break. And you all have seen, and and he's said messages before, that he needs to uh, fix himself and, and through his depression, which we understand. And we have nothing but love for him. He's done a great job with us in 2019. So... Uh, this is just a, a, a new beginning of a co-host search that will be great for the team in the meantime. So again, just if you have someone in mind or you think yourself, if you think that you would be fit with mm-hmm. this, with us here, nominate yourself. We're going to go ahead and have more details, of course, within the week on how the contest will uh, uh, plan out. Go down. Steven... Steven said, whoever could raise the most money. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Steven said, whoever could raise, raise the most money will be automatically the cause. But, you know, it, it'll be fun. I, I've had a lot of people say, hey, you know what? I would love the opportunity to be a co-host. So you never know. I mean, never know. It, it just, it's just, it's all fun, right? Yeah, no, I think it'll be dope. I mean, it's, I don't think anyone's really done that here. And as soon as when we started having this conversation about, you know, we need to find someone else for the show, it kind of just popped in my head. I was like, why don't we make this like a whole contest and make just, I mean, yeah, make it interesting. Like other people, you know, are going to promote themselves to their friends and it's going to promote the show. And, you know, we're going to have people come on the show and try out and, I mean, I think it's just going to be fun, and it's going to create, you know, some hype for the show. And it's a good way, I think, to start a new year, too, kind of, you know, go into New Year with something something fresh, something new, something fun. And yeah. I mean, we'll just see how, you know, how it plays out. I'm excited. I am down. excited. It's a great idea. Uh, again, it is Late Nights with All Access co-host search contest. And again, mm-hmm. this week, you'll see girl. a lot of details yeah. on it. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. It, it, you get different... Uh, vibes you get different characters you get different personalities uh and i think it's just a, a great opportunity for someone that can come in and be consistent you have to also understand that this is a consistency you have to be committed every monday night coming in here on set working as a team putting the stuff together unloading the stuff no together what, yeah. like you know and planning it out and you, you'll see the growth of it. I mean, it's amazing. I always get amazed knowing that when we first started, it was just bar stools and a table. And nothing. And nothing. nothing. And then, you know, so, we're in a beautiful so. venue uh, being sponsored. And it's amazing. And we're getting more people uh, wanting to sponsor the show, talking about being special guests. Uh, we will have the media kits uh, ready, too, as well, if you want to be a special guest, if you want to sponsor, if you want a commercial, uh, if you want a promo video. All of those information will be provided uh, before 2019. I promise you Just that. Just hit him up for that stuff because <laughs> all, all I do is show up and just stay here. She I don't shows know up and go to work. That extra stuff, so <laughs> <laughs> please hit him up. People will be hitting me up sometimes. I'm like, I don't even know. Holler at him. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I'm just here. That is too fun. Shout out to Rich. Um, What's up, Rich? Let's see. What else do we have? Who, who else? Uh, shout out to Edgar. Shout out to Daniel, of course. Always. JT. Uh, shout out to JT. Shout out to Rhonda. 
Uh, also, anybody celebrating a birthday? If you're celebrating a birthday, let us know. Just give us some birthday shout outs. Jacob, man. DJ E flat. What's up, DJ E flat? E flat, love E flat. A lot of people watching. We appreciate y'all tuning in, though, guys, for real. Um, yeah. I can't believe so it's fun. fucking Christmas Eve tomorrow, yo. Like, what happened to this year? Like, where did 20, 2020 <laughs> go? Where did 2019 go? You know what? Like, I, I'm serious. Like, I'm tripping. It doesn't feel like, I don't feel like it's Christmas. It doesn't feel like it's Christmas to me at all, but... Matter of fact, is, I saw a meme that says uh, this is the uh, least Christmassy I've ever felt. I or, saw, or that, earlier like I that? saw that earlier too. I saw that earlier too. It's something like that. Hey, you know what? I, I feel like you know. I, sometimes I feel like sometimes I don't. But then you know what? I'm like I'm gonna make it Christmas. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna eat that tamale. I'm gonna. <laughs> Is that what makes the Christmas the tamale? Yeah, yes, you have to have tamales. Yo, like, the chili and tamales and the cornbread and, that we had last and, night was and, the perfect. And sauce. You have to have yeah. sauce. Yeah. You, it just it's just a must, you know. I'm like, gonna have some when I get go. home, guys. If y'all want to come over, you know there's plenty of leftovers. Yeah, you have to. I mean, a lot of people that don't. Is that Miss James? The fuck? Hey. <laughs> What's up? We have a little bit of a of a live audience yeah, right now. Got to remember, viewers, that we are right now being sponsored by Fraggle Margarita Bar, which is also inside a smoke barbecue, and they are having their company Christmas party. So shout out to Adrian Martinez again for allowing us to be here, and we see some of their. Um, shout out to Miss James. Yeah. How you doing? You good? <laughs> yeah, I was at the party downstairs or what? Nice. All right, we'll be down there. In a minute. We, I can hear it. Bro. <laughs> I know. I'm like, yeah. we're about to crash that in a minute for sure. <laughs> that's fucking funny. No, that is. It's always great, you know. And that's the that's the uh, interaction that we're gonna be having for the one year, you know. So imagine that to have a live a audience party, and, yeah. and a big party and just to be able to do that. So Billy. Um, what was uh i was gonna actually say something about uh some sports stuff because of the fact that uh seeing like the cowboys, cowboys losing suck. and sorry yeah it's so crazy what do you think about the cowboys you know i'm not a cowboys fan <clears throat> a lot of my friends are cowboys fan my brother my roomie joshua huge cowboys fan for so many years i've had to sit here and watch their hearts get broken every single year year after year and say next year, year sorry year, next year, year sorry. and it's never their year um, everyone's talking about it's the coach. I mean, I'm not as into football as I am. That's Basketball, the one with the like, oval, it. right? The oval the, ball. Yeah, the brown thing. The, oval with the ball. white stripe on not it. Not the orange one. Um, no. <laughs> not the it. round one. I don't one. really watch or pay attention to sport. I just think a lot of people <laughs> are Cowboys fans because when you were younger, you know, I can. It's just your Thanksgiving, and that's when the Cowboys were winning. And it's like I think it just reminds a lot of people of like it's like yo, that was a long time ago. The Cowboys aren't the same. From what I hear, you know, I don't, that's pretty much all I know. You know, I think Cowboys could do a, uh, a lot of good if they would allow uh, Jerry Jones to step away. I think Jerry Jones as an owner is trying to be the GM and the coach and everything else. Uh, it's a lot of, uh, um, I mean, because they have good talent. And it's just a matter of just being able to win. I mean, it's crazy because I've been a, a fan of the Cowboys uh, like you said, you grow yeah. up to, to right. being being a fan. Um, but I think that this year, if they don't make it, because they still have a chance from what I was told. I was told, like, if, I guess, the Eagles lose, I guess. I think if they had won the other game or yesterday, like that, they, but they didn't. So, like, so I I, I'm not sure, because I haven't really know. been... You know what? I have not been keeping up too much with the with I just the watch it Cowboys because, game. like, D1 so. shot to D1, and, and then Ben, like, they just literally put the whole... If our sideliner would bend his knee to the right, we would, I don't know. They're like, they're literally telling you the whole game play by play. So shout out to D1 and, and Ben is tuning in their face. They they're literally talking about <laughs> whatever they're yeah, talking D1 about. Yeah, D1 does uh, get into the sports. Yeah, like, and they'll literally about. critique every single, oh, you know, you know, whatever they say. I can't even talk shit because the Spurs suck right now, and I'm a Spurs <laughs> fan, so I can't even talk shit. I know our Spurs, man. Why are really they sad. not? I don't know what's happening. And they got a good squad too. I know we have good players. We have good it's players. Just, I don't, I Shout don't out know. to Bren and Lonnie weird. Walker for being at Hotel Discotheque this Saturday. It's 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 a humbling year for San Antonio. Yeah. I think that's what it is. It humbles you, so you're not so, so you're not so, you know, cocky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess I don't know. And something needs to happen. Some. A little shum shum. See, okay, so yeah. It's like if Cowboys win, <laughs> Eagles lose, the Cowboys win the NFC East. So this next game. So yeah. 
So the Cowboys. So need they're playing them. again. Cowboys so playing Cowboys, each other again. No, no, not lose, again. Each other. The Cowboys, 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 the Cowboys need to win oh, this okay. Sunday, East. and the Eagles have to lose. Got it. Got it. Okay. So yeah. Like, didn't they East. just play each other? So yeah, they just played each other, okay. but now this Sunday or when they play next, yeah. they have. That sound like yeah. directions. So yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so remember, people, you're 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 watching it, and you have a chance to win a hundred dollars Visa gift card. So keep on liking and then commenting and sharing this video. I mean, if you, that's a hundred dollars. Who couldn't use a hundred dollars extra right now I for could. Christmas? I'll take you it. Know? I'm, I'm not, yeah. Did you put our names in there? Um, did y'all share it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. You know what? It's better <laughs> That's to the first give thing we do every show. I know, right? I'm gonna let we'll somebody else in there. win and, and get that. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna put Soul Child. There we go. Let's see. If we, if we, if, our, if my name gets picked and I decide to give it away to somebody else, can I do that? Yeah, you can give if it away. If I win, I'll go half with somebody. I'll go half with somebody. <laughs> I'll get. I'm gonna, you know, bless somebody's game. Okay. Uh, happy birthday to uh, Laura. Uh, seventh, or her son's seventh birthday tomorrow. So you remember what I was right now birthday. saying shout out to people's birthdays. Val Sanchez, her birthday's on the 29th, so happy Man, birthday to happy you birthday. as well. So any other people's birthdays uh, coming up pretty soon? No, just New Year's, I think. And then everybody, yeah, everybody's birthday is pretty much, there was like so many birthdays the past three weeks. I know. Daniel's birthday's coming up? Danny, when's your birthday? You don't know your brother's birthday? Daniel's not my brother. He's one of my best friends. Oh, best friends. Joshua and JT are my brothers. Who else got a birthday oh. in the next two weeks? Zess, we got your name in there, brother. So keep on watching. Got your name in there. You know what? Uh, what Steven about this weekend? Anthony what do you have going on this weekend? Uh, coming up. Sleep. No. Uh, it's been weekend? such a crazy month. Because you're on vacation, right? <laughs> so how's that? This weekend still? is the 28th so and 29th, bad. and New Year's will be Tuesday. So this weekend, I think, is like the pregame for New Year's, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, everybody that that's uh, promoting uh, for New Year's, drop your flyers below. Let yes. us know what you're doing for New We're Year's. All off next week. Uh, so New Year's Eve is going to be huge. Uh, if you if you haven't, uh, we're sold out at Hotel Discotheque. Just bet. let you know, we're I completely bet. sold out. Uh, in our Latin room, we still have uh, room for tables, but in the main room, completely so sold out. Who's DJ yeah. that? Duano. So DJ Duano. I've only been a couple of times to the hotel, and I must—I mean, from the lights to everything, it's—it's—it's—it's it's, it's, it's an experience. It's definitely—it's um, like one of the. To me, it's—I guess to a lot of people too. It, it's who don't go all the time. It's like one of the special occasion type of. Because I know if I'm gonna go to a hotel, mm. I gotta make like you a whole day out of it. Shit, yeah, I gotta yeah. make sure like I'm on point, and you know whatever, <laughs> and, you know, Same. and you know. Thankfully, I don't have to, you know, stand in line as long. But you know, <laughs> it's also humbling because it's like, man, I don't think I know anybody on this side of town. So it's like, but so, no, I usually do. A lot of people are like, no, nah, he's good. I'm like, I am well, okay. I've seen uh, <laughs> some uh, some flyers for the Rustic with DJ Tone. I saw that. Uh, sure you have uh, Pippi and and BB with Burn House. They've been promoting theirs. Uh, Social House. They've been promoting theirs. Sugars uh, will be having a party. So Sugars. The older I get, I kind of just want to sure, like be at the crib and, with my homies right? and like pop do the our house party own thing, fireworks barbecue. and get fucked up at home. They said there's not a ban on fireworks this year. What is that? I mean, you can. I think uh, they say that every year. They say that they're going to ban and people still do it. You can do yeah, it. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck about no ban. You, you, everyone's popping Everyone in the city. Popping. Nobody oh, yeah. gives. Yeah. No I'm throwing smoke bombs at people's trucks and. I'm trying to be at this penthouse at the Grand Hyatt is what I'm trying to do. Yo, you know um, all the parties, that dude. Shit, I just know the, if the I want to The tower's go, right there. Like it's right there. I heard everything sold out downtown with the with the hotels. I wasn't going to rent hotels. Yeah. I wasn't about to rent it. I know yeah, some of the so shit. Having the parties, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you but sometimes what? sold out doesn't mean that that's impossible. The uh, the you know who we are? We uh, <laughs> I can't remember what year it was, but shout out to my my best friend John. He had a penthouse at the Enclave off of Four Ten and Jackson Keller. Okay. So it's the Enclave, and he was in the absolutely penthouse. How was like, the view? Floor, and oh my gosh, like once that countdown hit. Three, two, one. See the fireworks all over the town. Everywhere. Yeah. It was so beautiful. It was like the best party because he had his penthouse. Nick had his penthouse. And it was just like DJ. And it was like going back and forth. And like That's it was dope. cool. And I remember one time they there was another penthouse that was available. And he's like, you should get it. I was like, no, man. I was like, if that was the case, dude, we would be partying every <laughs> weekend. Like it would be some type of party. 
but yeah, it, it was a it was a lot of fun. I think you're right. It, it, when you get older, you do mm-hmm. start thinking about like okay, especially if I mean like unless you're working it. So me, yeah. I see I see it as as a it's, business opportunity it's money. It's money. and to where you know you can make a lot. Hey, of money nothing wrong it. with that. I've been getting that every weekend. I've been so this week this weekend. I'm want to be a, pat- a patron or what is it? Yeah, I'm chilling uh-huh. the rest of the week. I'm fucking happy about it. So, so Phil, designer Phil, one of the dope graphic artists, designer Phil, he makes all the flyers. What's up, Richie Rich? Flyers. We gave you a shout out earlier Jesse on your James, award you won Amanda last night. Amanda Naranjo, Cassandra Cuba. All right, people. So right name. now, going to uh, start this uh, $100 <laughs> Visa gift card. And good luck, everyone. Again, in order that to be entered in the drawing, you had to like, comment below, and share this video. Now, for those that already follow the uh, instructions from the actual All Access Promotions Entertainment page and the Late Nights with All Access page, your name has been entered prior. And again, for all the viewers right now, we do appreciate you watching. And let's get this going let's get this going let's see who's gonna win Uh-oh. and maybe a co-host over maybe, here or maybe, maybe a special guest over here so you never know a hundred dollars uh is, is it could do some good for someone right now during the christmas yeah. time a hundred dollars man especially i went to forever 21 and everything's 50 percent off and i spent like 125 dollars i got like three jackets a leather jacket like it's at Northstar? Yeah, I'm supposed to be shopping for Oh, I don't people. know if I want to deal with all the crowds right now. But 50% off at Northstar is $100 you can get a whole... That sounds kind of tempting. Uh, but I feel like it'll still be 50% off even after Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're usually yeah. the rest of the year, the sales right are now, still so usually I'm going on. Sure so. that, oh, I just don't want to deal with the, the crowds. Put that name back in there. This is the worst. Okay, five, so four, three, two, Heather, my dentist. one. Happy New Year. And let's see who this is. We have Robert R. So if you're Robert. watching right now, Robert. Robert R. You have. Let's see. I'm going to look at the live. Is that Seth or is that someone else? No, it yeah, is it not Yeah, it might Seth. be somebody's government name. <laughs> someone's government name. No, it is. Just, you remember, I entered people's names from the actual page. No, right. Yeah, so, but I'm yeah. talking about like DJ so, Zesk is Robert Zesk. And like. Uh, that's his real name, right? Zesk? Yes, that's your real name. I mean, I think. And B Steadies is Brandon Gonzalez. So, so it's like Robert, if you're not tuning in right now, you're gonna have ten seconds to uh, go Robert, ahead. Robert, drop an emoji. And if not, then no. We're gonna go on to the next one. So Dang, sucks to suck, Robert. No, uh, you have to be on the show <laughs> to to be on there. So again, you got five more seconds. Let's see right here. See. They have a delay though, so we have to get them a couple more. Seconds. Of course, you gotta get yeah a couple yeah, more right. seconds. So while we're waiting for Robert R, I'm gonna go ahead and start it again. What up, Rudy? All right, let's Laura go got again. her fingers crossed. <laughs> he said next. Next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have Dia Corona. Dia. Corona. Dia. Again, you've got to remember, That's people. These names. Na- these names were already entered from the contest from earlier so so they you told them to watch right yeah, i told them to watch they had to watch drop a emoji dia wait what's her name right? dia uh-huh you got dia. it dia that is a dope name mm-hmm. dia corona drop a uh, eggplant emoji dia or something Carona? robert r zes said his middle name is r uh, don't lie don't be lying <laughs> <Zeth>. <laughs> <laughs> oh man what's up eric v is you Madrano. Majesta. I saw you watching, Majesta. Majesta. So if you're watching, you got the $100 right here. I just saw her name right now. It's popped up Drop saying that she's plant. watching. Drop a eggplant. <laughs> no, don't, Stop don't do that. Or mo- or mo- <laughs> Drop the money sign. Do the peach. That's funny. So Majesta, <laughs> I just saw you right now. It just said Majesta is watching. See right here? Nat Bo- so that boogie delay. could verify as well. Oh, no, it says it. It says it right there. So, Majesta, I know you're watching. Majesta. So, Majesta, we'll give her. Yeah, we'll give her some time because I already saw her watching. Yes. Yeah. 
But wow, see? She said wow. Oh, yeah, there she is. There we go. There she said wow because of what up. you just said earlier, the eggplant. <laughs> oh, she, she put the him. star's eyes to the eggplant, so <laughs> she put no. this, that means she got stars in her eyes. It's okay. <laughs> I'm talking about vegetables. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Majestic. Congratulations. Merry Christmas. Congratulations. For $100. Time for that, for sure. a good card. Very right. dope. Thank you for tuning in. I don't think I've seen her before, so appreciate you. Yeah, she's yeah very so make sure to, to, to share this video, Majesta, and say you just won the $100 Visa gift card. So if you can share this video, we appreciate so it juicy. because your friends will then see that they have a chance of maybe yeah. winning something. Mm -hmm. I think next Monday we'll be giving away another uh, gift card before Pay the forward. before the end year. So, okay, so you have uh, this weekend. I'm going to be in Chicago this weekend, uh, so I'm kind of excited. That's gonna be cold. You uh, better wear a lot. Me of and my layers. business partner Stephen, uh, we do a lot of social media marketing uh, for our, one of our other what businesses, and uh, one of the companies that we're negotiating with is a CBD uh, business, and they want to fly us to Chicago. That's dope. So that is dope. That's what we're gonna be doing this weekend. Uh, of course, we'll, I'll be at A Lounge Two on Friday night. Just to let you know, so if you want to take another sneak peek of the venue, I would tell you to come, be this, be our uh, guest, and you can uh, buy a, uh, a table section. It's really nice. Uh, we have DJ New York as our DJ for Friday night. He's a really versatile, Very really great. Healthy. Yes, shout out to DJ versatile. New York, so he'll be there. <laughs> and he does health bars. So that's what. So, so, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. You. Uh, <laughs> no idea. I will be wherever I end up at. That boogie goes You'll where the wind somewhere. takes her. Yeah. You know what I I'm mean? I'm really like, people are, the homies are like, yo, let's go here. I'm like, all right. I envy so, that because I don't think I could ever, I mean, you just go with the flow, dude. Sometimes, I mean, that's dope. I mean, if I'm not planned, you know, to be somewhere, if I. But I do know if I want to know what's up, like if there's, not, she knows all the secret throwdown parties, Hallelujah. events. me. I want to see the inside of, of On the Rocks. I want to see how they it's change nice. it. Did they change it completely? Like, is the bar still the same bar? Or? Yeah, the bar's still the same bar, but they have sections now on the right. Um, okay. Instead of where the tables and stuff were, they okay. have actual, like, sections. Okay. There's a big, like, LED screen in front of the DJ booth. They removed the stage. Like, it's... So make it more into a lounge nice. then? Um, or a like club? A, more bar like club? a lounge, clubish, really? somewhat vibe. But, and they're just doing DJs now. What so they're not going to be doing bands no more. What we is a dope-ass rooftop bar like i know we got paramore that's that's cool but everybody's not something that's a little bit, bit bougie it's yeah. a liability there it's was one spot liability. that i think that the b was doing and they did it for like a week or two i even went to the stop up and then i never heard about it again i forgot what it was well called. there there is a in the works um there's a new hotel um i don't know if they actually signed the contracts yet but from what I was uh, told, there is a new hotel that's going to be coming up in downtown, right near the uh, Frost Bank. Like I the, think, just a second, like a second. And they're going to be having their own rooftop uh, club. Hmm. And then in the in the Pearl, uh, there's going to be new development there that they're going to be having their own rooftop uh, club too. The Pearl's so, the perfect area. And I and I know that for a fact because a friend of mine that owns a couple of restaurants, he's actually uh, in negotiations of opening up the actual club bar rooftop in the pearl so he told me about it one of during our lunch uh meeting and he was like hey i would like you to be on part of it so that's something to look out to that's yep. gonna be good looking forward to it yeah um, that'd be dope man congrats social media social media uh let's see my snapchat's popping you can follow me at the real jordan g on snapchat uh my instagram at child of soul and uh, if you're watching of course my uh facebook is jay david i had to make a whole uh how do you say like a uh, alias just to be on Facebook? Why? Because they got me for. I would always post videos that my videographer would do with the music in the background. This is where oh. we started to learn to use the instrumental. Well, before we would use the whole song. They try to say I was uh, what is it? Uh, not plagiarizing. Um, copyright. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So they blocked my whole. I made a Facebook. They deleted it. I made another one. They deleted it. Damn. So I just J David. David's my middle name. So I had to make a play on my name mm. just to have. A Shit. Mm. That sucks. So. They hated on my Nat Boogie, so now I'm Natalie Charlene. <laughs> <laughs> they like, they want to leave you Nat and then Boogie? Mm -mm. They were like, this is not your real name. Like, we need you to send us a copy of your ID. Blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. You know, next time I talk to a Facebook expert mar a marketers, which is pretty crazy because I actually do because of our sister company, 417 Solutions, uh, I'm able to speak to and 
Facebook marketing expert. So I'll ask them about that and see what they can uh, do for you guys. Because I yeah, my I, whole Facebook I have, in I have, nine years got deleted. I have a, a really good relationship with Facebook, and it's crazy because it it's a win. It's a win-win because they see that we're doing business for other people to use right. Facebook, and obviously they want to make yeah. sure that we have all the right information and guidelines to increase the. So where's our sponsorship? I know, right? I need to get a sponsorship from Facebook pretty soon pretty soon maybe in that next old may, may, maybe in that next uh, conference <laughs> but uh my social media is going to be for the business <laughs> all access in may for facebook and instagram and my instagram for my personal is official mike anthony torres also make sure for uh, to uh, tune in next monday because we do have a special guest uh, it's going to be our first female promoter uh to close out the year with us her name is miss alexis and oh, Alexis! Yeah, she'll be our, our special guest for next Monday. Really? We haven't had a female promoter uh, come on I the show, her, and yeah. she is uh, the female promoter in San Antonio. So yeah, she's she's so. up and coming. I remember she was a dog at Sugars, and then mm-hmm. uh, she told me about how she wanted to get into. She kind of asked me, you know, what I thought, and I th- I, th- I think you'd be dope. It would be dope. She started, you know, at Live and, you know, Love, so she, Love. Yeah, she started at Live or Love, and then now she's at Boulevard, together. and she's at Social House. Yeah. So, and she's excited to be a special guest on the show. That'd be great. DJ Ammunition just right now <laughs> say he's about to come up here and crash it. Hey, hey, we're about to go down there and crash your party. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. But again, we, so, we so we do yeah. have her as a special guest. And then also to uh, let you know, we are doing that uh, co-host search contest. So please uh, yeah. Dang, tell I'm us to come who, back who, with Alexis. Who, uh, Alexis is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh wait, we're live, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Wait, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna let her know you said that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, but yeah, I am Natalie Charlene on Facebook, Nat Boogie spelled N A T B O O G I on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Of course, thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Merry we definitely Christmas. appreciate all the love, guys. We hope y'all have an amazing Christmas with bring your families. I hope you get everything you want. And like he said, bring me some bring tamales, me please. Me um, not but for real, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. And um, we will check you out next Monday. It's right here. Late Nights with All Access at 10.30 p.m. Y'all have a good night. Peace.